Hi, this is Neil with TremoldDoctor.com. Today we're going to look at a Cybex 772AT Art Trainer Assembly. The tools required are a Phillips screwdriver, a torque wrench, there's going to be a couple Allen wrenches that are already supplied in your hardware pack, and you might also need a 9 16 open-ended wrench. Here you can see I'm going to hold the console in place while Josh fastens that first bolt there's going to be four total. You just want to run those four in here and then your console set and everything past this point is pretty much a one person job. Take this time to tell you a little bit about the art trainer. This is Cybex's answer to the elliptical. It's a much better design. It was designed to be low impact on all the joints. And you'll notice this one is a 772AT. The T on the end doesn't stand for trainer and art trainer. It actually stands for total body. So the AT on the end means total body, which usually means it's going to have the upper arms. If you have an AT to put together, then you're going to notice at the bottom, the arms are actually flipped around for shipping so that they can crate it properly. One of the first instructions that you're going to see is you're going to have to actually take these arms and flip them over. You'll see me here in a second grab my flip out Allens. And I also have another Allen on the other side. You can use the one that's provided. Using a ratchet makes it a little bit easier. There's going to be one bolt on each side of the shaft, but usually only one bolt will come out of one side and then you just pull that shaft through and set it on the ground and go and repeat this process on the other side. Alright, now here you'll see I've got the right side up already. And I've got that shaft in there and I'm just going to tighten down both sides and then you're going to see me pick up this other side and I tried to put this arm on but you really don't need that arm I thought it might help me stabilize it a little bit but honestly after you move it around it kind of wants to come out so I ended up just using my arm to hold it in place and then once you get that uh, shaft to go through those two little bearings in there you can then connect that other arm to the upper arms. Okay, so here you're going to pay attention. First, you're going to find this in your hardware pack. There's going to be a washer. You're going to drop that washer right inside that hole, and then you place the screw inside of the washer, and then that flange, which is a, it's called a flange spacer. There's going to be a, a raised side on one side of it. You're going to want to put that raised side towards the piece of plastic and it's going to fit right inside the hole. Alright, so if you missed that, don't worry. I'm going to slow it down here for you. Grab your plastic cap, drop your washer in there, and then you're going to find your hex head screw. You're going to drop your screw in there. And then there's going to be your flange. Make sure that raised piece goes towards and it pops right in. And I didn't show it, but right here I put some Loctite on the screw right before putting it in. And then I put it in there with my hands. You don't want to run it in there with any kind of power tools because these things will cross thread very easily. After you get that in there, you want to go find your Allen wrench that they provide in your hardware pack and you're going to have to use that L wrench that they provide it's a little too tight to get a ratchet or a T handle in there okay next we're going to uh, show you how to put that main tray on that just moved by my elbow um, we set it on a little bit earlier and Josh went and found these screws there's going to be four longer pan head about two inch Phillips screws. There's going to be four small openings underneath the frame and they'll run right through there and hold that main tray on. 
after you get that on then you'll be able to get the rest of the assembly together here you'll see me attach the top part of the cup holder and there's two screws that ties this down to that main tray there's not a lot of space up here so you're definitely going to have to get the shortest screwdriver you got which Josh just handed me and then you'll be able to uh, get in between the main tray and the actual top of that uh, center cover after you get these two little screws in there's going to be a little white piece that came in your hardware pack it's a grommet that's going to go inside of the square hole underneath the console and then you'll be able to attach the bottom piece of the cup holder you're also going to need that small screwdriver in here there's no way to get around it you have to have a small screwdriver to do this job and then there's going to be two more screws that go in at an angle to finish this off So I should have mentioned this after you flip over the uh, upper arms. If you do have upper arms on this thing, there's going to be a connector that looks like a headphone jack. You need to plug that into the frame or else your heart rate's not going to work. Just double check that at this point. Here, you might want to get some help. You can see that uh, it was a little bit easier once Josh could uh, push that pedal out of the way. And then I could pull these bolts out. And you don't want to pull the screws out but you do want to pull those three bolts off just the three and then you can put the side arm on alright now we're going to start putting the covers on you'll see there's a certain way you got to do this you got to go from the back and up from the bottom to get that inside plate on and then I held the other one on and Josh held these in place while I screwed them in but this is completely possible by yourself it's not hard at all on this side you'll get a little bit better look at it and if you don't have somebody to help you out with this just do the inside first and then snap the outside on it's a little bit easier that way and watch that ring right there that you lift up that's going to come on that arm And there's just two screws on each side to hold this into place. Alright, now we're going to put the uh, top covers on. And we're going to make this thing look like an art trainer watch this little clip right here a little bit later you're going to have to go and loosen that piece up and actually snap it around there and everything kind of snaps together and you'll be able to see your screw holes properly make sure you don't cross that anything I am using a drill here but I'm using a drill with a clutch on it and I have that clutch turned up probably if you have a DeWalt I have mine up to probably only about five or six here that way I don't run through the plastic okay Josh is going to take us out here by putting in the last of the screws I think we missed one that's actually underneath the Cybex symbol you might want to go and check that it goes upwards on the back end we're going to get her plugged in and test her out if you have the E3 console this is exactly what it looks like whenever you start up there's going to be a small touch screen down there in the bottom make sure that's all functional and if you have the standard display, that's what it looks like. There's uh, just an LED amber screen. And then there's also the E3. And there's also the Cybex Go option. Um, that's a really cool option, something to look into. Today we have the E3 and it's not hooked up to any cable. If we had the cable hooked up to the coax, you would see a uh, picture there. We're going to run through everything, show you what it looks like real quick. 
you can actually change your resistance down there on the touch screen or you can change your resistance on the pad that Josh is hitting now and then your incline or your stride length is going to be on the other side whenever you've done putting it together you always want to test all the functions out make sure everything works properly if anything isn't working properly call Cybex immediately they'll help you out super easy to deal with and really fast service hey I hope you found this helpful if you did don't forget to give us a like down at the bottom. You can subscribe if you want to see more, or you can check us out at treadmilldoctor.com where we solve problems to keep people moving.